Usually after talking this long, there are some of you wondering if I'm gay or not. <laughs> and I knew it. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> I don't know what sexual orientation I am. What's the one where you like girls, but none of them like you back? <laughs> it's called lonely, that's what it's called. <laughs> I'll tell you what, not a lot of people are supportive of lonely people. They're like, look, you can be lonely in private, just don't be flamboyantly lonely in public. You're bumming us out, man. <laughs> if you're gay, you get to come out of the closet, but if you're lonely, you stay in the closet. <laughs> you come out of your parents' basement. <laughs> And you come out as gay, it's celebrated too. People go, wow, you are so brave for accepting yourself. But if you come out as lonely, it's just sad. <laughs> you're like, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm very lonely right now. <laughs> and they don't say you're brave either. They say, why are you talking to me? I don't know you. <laughs> I came out as lonely to my parents though. They're very supportive. <laughs> They're like, well, Alex, we can't say we weren't suspicious. <laughs> Ever since you're a little kid, we could tell that no one liked you, but <laughs> we love you very much. <laughs> Gay marriage is legal now, but we still live in a society where lonely people can't get married. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Even then, I think the judges would be like, yeah, we can't find anyone for you. <laughs> We've all conferred, and it's the majority opinion of this judicial body that you're kind of icky, actually. <laughs> it's the legal term. <laughs> the problem is, I can't raise awareness for my cause. I can't raise awareness for loneliness. Like, I can't have a lonely pride parade. <laughs> First off, I'm not proud about it at all. <laughs> and if I did have a parade, who would come? It'd just be me alone on the street, <laughs> waving at nobody. Lonely people are discriminated against. We can't get married. You know what else we can't do? We can't ride in the carpool lane. <laughs> carpool lane is discrimination against lonely people. It's the Jim Crow of the highway. <laughs> carpool lane has its own symbol too. There is a symbol to my oppression, my friends. And it is the diamond symbol. It's like the swastika for lonely people. It's rude, they picked the diamond to remind us of the diamond on the wedding ring we'll never have to buy. <laughs> Dating's hard. When I was a young man, they told me that in order to be a gentleman, you had to have chivalry. Recently, I looked up what the word chivalry means, and this is true, it comes from a medieval French word that means horsemanship. And I read that and I'm like, you're telling me being a gentleman is based on how medieval people treated horses? And we're not even talking about polite medieval people. We're talking about French medieval people. <laughs> that also means they came up with the horse etiquette before they came up with the women etiquette. By the time they got to how to treat women, they're just like, oh, let's just carry over the horse rules. <laughs> And we've been using the horse rules to this day. <laughs> Women come back from dates essentially going, oh, you didn't make me feel equestrian at all. <laughs> Her friend's like, you deserve to be treated like a horse, Cindy, you're a lady. <laughs> You've got the ponytail and everything. <laughs> How much more clear can it be? I wanna treat women with respect, but if it's based on horsemanship, that seems degrading. Like, do you know why it's polite to open doors for women? It's because horses cannot do it on their own. <laughs> women are totally capable of opening their own doors. Nowadays, they say it's impolite to text a girl to ask her out, but according to these rules, the most polite thing to do is to go, let's go, <laughs> idiot! Yeah! Onward, post haste, trusty steed. Oh, and you never want to talk to a girl from the side either. You might spook her. <laughs> Whoa, easy girl, easy. <laughs> we were just going to the Olive Garden. Shh, 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 shh. I'll get you a sugar cube, just calm down. <laughs> now, you should click. Click on something, anything. 
I'm being held here against my will. Please click something so they'll let me go. Please click. Please.